Good afternoon, everyone. We're in downtown Toronto for a special Canadian Premier League announcement. If you're watching on YouTube, One Soccer Social, CPL Social, wherever you are, thanks for joining us. Uh, really happy to be joined by Charlie O'Connor Clark of, of CanPL.ca. And obviously, you'll probably know by now that this big announcement, which is the new commissioner of the Canadian Premier League, Mark Noonan, an experienced executive. He's worked in, for, for MLS, for US soccer. He's even been the CEO of Hearts of Oak, one of the most historic clubs in Ghana. So definitely some unique experience there. Um, Charlie, we, Mark has just landed yesterday. We're just obviously getting to know him and, and getting our first impressions. But what have you made of, of Mark so far? And, and maybe what do you think about the direction of the Canadian Premier League following this move? Well, I think first and foremost, the most important thing is it's really exciting that we're able to announce it as a commissioner and obviously a CEO of CSB as well. It's a position that was vacant for quite a while, for about eight months. But the reason for that is because of how extensive the search was. Right? It was very important at the moment to have the right person in this job to make sure that a person like Mark is able to help the CPL and the Canadian soccer as a whole you know, mature and move out of its infancy into this next phase of the league. Right? And I think he has a lot of very important experience. He's obviously come from a soccer background, which I think is really important as well. So I think I'm really excited to, see, you know, to hear from him in a few minutes and to see what his vision is for the future. You mentioned Canadian soccer kind of still being in, in a relative state of infancy compared to the rest of the world, and we've definitely seen that over the past few months with some, some pretty tumultuous events on and off the pitch with the national team and, and so on and so forth. Do you think maybe just having someone who's coming from outside, you know, who has experience in the US rather than in Canada, who can just have that fresh pair of eyes, that could be a good thing for the league and for Canadian soccer as a whole? Yeah, I think it's always good to have new ideas and new perspectives in the room, right? Especially, you know, at the high decision-making levels. Canadian soccer is in a very exciting moment at, at the moment with both the men's and the women's game but I think definitely there's uh, you know a lot of new things that could come here new ideas there's you know a lot of work to be done I think in the league at the moment uh, and in Canadian soccer as a whole I want I'm very excited to hear what Mark has to say about the women's game I know that he's very very passionate about that as well he worked with the US Soccer Federation at the 99 World Cup as well with them so there's just you know a lot of very exciting things that can be done I think an outsider's perspective from the soccer world is very important here yeah I mean We've already spoken a little bit to Mark and, and his passion for, for the women's game and for a, a women's uh, equivalent of the Canadian Premier League is, is definitely a big thing, I think, on his mind. Anything else that you're, you're looking forward to, to hearing from him or you'd like to learn coming out of this, this Q&A with, with our own Adam Jenkins in a moment? Well, I think I'm just excited to hear, you know, what Mark's kind of perception is of Canadian soccer as somebody who comes in, you know, from an American perspective, having seen the game at so many different levels around the world in so many different places. Uh, I'm excited to hear, you know, what Canadian soccer looks like to an outsider, right? Because we obviously live and work in this sort of bubble, so sometimes it's it's hard to tell kind of what the perception is outside of it. And I'm excited to have, you know, him come in. I think that I, I've spoken to him very briefly. He has, a, he has a lot of very very exciting ideas. He's got a, quite a clear vision of how, you know, all levels of the game at this country can kind of work together and just help to push the sport forward. You know, as we move into obviously the 2022 World Cup, 2026, and, and from then on, just the sky's the limit. For sure. So thank you, Charlie, first of all, for appreciate your thoughts. And without further ado, we'll throw it over to our own Adam Jenkins, who's with the new commi commissioner of the Canadian Premier League, Mark Noonan. Well, thank you very much to you, Ollie, and to you, Charlie, and a big welcome to everybody. Thank you so much for being here on what is just a very historic and special day for the Canadian Premier League, and it is fantastic to look across the room, see some familiar faces, and people representing every corner of the Canadian soccer community. That is what this is all about. Great to have you all here at the Berkeley Fieldhouse. Thank you for making us a part of your day today and being a part of these proceedings. Uh, before we get going, we just want to acknowledge the land we are meeting on is on the traditional territory of many nations. That includes the Mississaugas of the Credit the Anishinaabek, the Chippewa, the Haudenosaunee, the Wendat peoples, and is now home to many diverse First Nations, Inuit, and Métis peoples. We'd also like to acknowledge that Toronto is covered by the Treaty 13 with the Mississaugas of the Credit. Looking across the room and seeing again many smiling faces and good to see various members of the community. I want to give a big shout out. So if you are around Regent Park United, thank you so much for being here. And if you could please help me welcome Regent Park United to the event today. Great to see them here. And uh, 
I don't want to get myself into any sort of tampering troubles, but I do know that there's a Canadian Premier League coach here. If you're watching on the YouTube stream on One Soccer and you're looking for a goal scorer, I also know that NDC Ontario is here and Rosa Malouf recently had a goal on FIFA's Twitter channel. I'm just saying, I think she's a free agent. She's available. Have your people meet her people. Um, it, it's honestly just such a special day. This has been a league that has gone through a lot through four years and even this week we were witness to another special moment in the Canadian Premier League once again a CPL side going out in CONCACAF and showing that this league is not just here to stay and has not just survived the pandemic but is thriving and it's just a very exciting time to start this next chapter. So in order to do that I'd like to call to the stage now Scott Mitchell. He is the chair of Canadian Soccer Business and the managing partner and CEO of Forge and Hamilton Sports Group. Scott. Yes. Okay, thanks very much, Adam. Uh, just a few thank yous to get out of the way before uh, we begin. First of all, I want to thank everybody for coming today to this uh, very important uh, event. I know everybody's got a very busy schedule. Um, I want to thank our partners, uh, a lot of them who've been with us since the start of this, uh, this uh, great project, um, including, of course, One Soccer. I want to thank David Clanigan, who's uh, here somewhere. David, uh, thanks very much for coming today, our first commissioner of the uh, CPL, who, of course, is working incredibly hard on our Windsor project. Looking forward to hearing more about that tonight, David, at, uh, at dinner. I want to thank Glenn Johnson and the staff, who've done a tremendous job uh, keeping everything going and moving things forward, particularly Glenn, the last few months as we've been working hard to, uh, to find our newest commissioner. So thank you, Glenn, for all your hard work and the staff. I want to thank Earl Cochran uh, for being here today. I think Bob Richardson from the board is here as well. So thank you both for being here and thank you for the great partnership with Canada Soccer. I want to thank Victor Montagliani and CONCACAF for all their great support through this great project. Um, the search committee, uh, I want to thank uh, Fernando Lopez, uh, Wade Miller and uh, Josh Simpson. Thank you very much for all your help. The executive committee, Ian Allison, Dean Shillington and Derek Martin. And I want to thank uh, of course, our owners who made this whole project possible. They've invested a tremendous amount of money in this project and uh, it's because of their passion and commitment. We've created hundreds, hundreds of jobs across this country and, uh, and because of their commitment, we're able to attract a great candidate that we're gonna introduce today. Um, I also wanna thank our players, our coaches, and our managers who've done an incredible job of putting a great product on the field. We saw that again, as Adam said this week, but uh, you've performed unbelievably well. I want to thank you all for that, and there's great times ahead for our players, our coaches, and our managers. So thank you to everybody, and most importantly, uh, we're here today to hear from our newest commissioner. Uh, I've been fortunate to spend a lot of time with Mark in the last few months, a tremendous person. We're looking forward to him making his home and his wife uh, and their family their home in Canada. Mark has a tremendous, incredible blend of, uh, of soccer experience, business of soccer experience, sports marketing experience. He's got a very eclectic uh, background on a bunch of different projects, which will bode extremely well for our uh, great project here in Canada. So without uh, further ado, I want to uh, introduce Mark Noonan as our newest commissioner and CEO of Canada Soccer Business. Oh, sorry. There you go. All right. Enough of that. Mark, it's all yours. Thanks very much. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Scott. I made a few notes to so make sure I don't forget anybody. But uh, uh, first and foremost, hello, Canada. Bonjour, Canada. That's about the extent of my my French, but hopefully I will pick it up quickly. Um, this is a very proud day for me and my family, and. I take a great responsibility for what you all in this room have built and, and, and taking the lead of growing that foundation. Um, I'm incredibly humble and grateful for this opportunity. Um, there's never been a better time to be involved with soccer in Canada than, than right now. And I consider myself really fortunate to be chosen to serve. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't be standing here uh, without the support of a tremendous group of, group of people. Um, and I won't be successful without th their support as well as the support of everybody in this room. And so I don't want to be too redundant with Scott, but first and foremost, my family, uh, my wife of 31 years, Katie, our beautiful daughters, Olivia and Tess, uh, my parents and, and, and my siblings um, who, have a, who share a love of the beautiful game with me, um, our tireless chairman, Scott Mitchell, you've been fantastic to deal with, the entire, entire board of directors, 
Uh, thank you for choosing me and believing me, uh, and believing in me and, and as a leader. Um, former Commissioner Dave Clanagan, um, not too many people sit in this chair. It's not an easy job, and I look forward to uh, sharing in your experience as we move forward, and thank you for stopping by the office earlier today. Um, FIFA Vice President and the President of CONCACAF, Victor Montaliani, uh, he's got an incredible vision for soccer in this region, yet Victor has never forgotten his roots, and Canada is very lucky to have a guy like Victor in our corner. Dr. Nick Bontis, Earl Cochran, and the entire Canada Soccer Board and family, uh, thank you for the warm welcome that we ha I had with Earl, and I really look forward to doing great things with you as our, as our partner. Uh, Scott Moore, who I believe was here, was so professional. Uh, he and his team in the entire search process has been a great, uh, and a great counsel to me as we are, are starting to get on board. And we were introduced by a, a mutual friend named Kevin Flynn, who is a former professional player, comedian, podcaster, actor. And Flynnie, thank you very much for bringing me together with, uh, with Scott. I wouldn't be here without that. Um, the staff at the league, um, I've been on the ground for 24 hours, and I've already seen the incredible dedication that this team has toward, toward the cause. And they've been incredible getting ready for this event, and I can't, can't thank them enough for their hard work. I really look forward to working with them, building something, and learning from them. Uh, the amazing players who represent Canada at the highest levels, the CPL, leagues around the world. You guys are an inspiration to the next generation, and the product gets better and better. So keep, keep grinding, keep working, and uh, we're going we're gonna to take on the region with you guys. Our corporate and media partners, thanks so much for your support and belief. We look forward to growing the soccer audience here in Canada with you, and importantly, growing your businesses, because this is, this is a stock that you buy low and you never sell, because this is only going one direction, and it's straight up. And finally, a special thank you to the supporters who are the life's blood of any club around the world, and especially with a young league like ours. We see you and we appreciate you. Bring all your friends to the next game. Let's go. Um, when this opportunity was presented to me, I went after it like, a, like an elite striker searching for his or, his or her next goal. I wanted this job. I wanted to be here. I saw the opportunity that you all have built that I thought I might be able to, to help continue building. Um, and now that I'm here, make no doubt about it, I'm all in. Um, and that includes, yes, relocating to, lo relocating to Toronto, or as the staff schooled me this morning, uh, Toronto, I think is probably a better pronunciation. I'll, I'll, keep, I'll keep working on that. Uh, my family and I are, are looking forward to immersing ourselves, not just in Toronto, but getting out there to every one of our great CPL cities and perhaps a few more that we, we'd be considering in the future. Um, but last but not least, I, I want to thank you all for being here today and caring about soccer in Canada, caring to grow it, being passionate about it, because that's, that's what it's going to take. It's going to take passionate believers. It's going to take evangelists. It's going to take an incredible amount of hard work. Uh, but we're going to build something really special here. Um, so thanks again. Time to get to work. We've got no limits. Let's go. And then just have you sit. The old mic swap. <laughs> we'll get you a CPL flag. That's in the works. Don't worry. Uh, full disclosure, we've had plenty of practice at this, you and I, the past 12 hours. So I think this is our third go around on a one on one. I feel like we're related already. Yeah, we're, we, we know we're both left handed. We know we're both, what was the word, sinister you used? Yeah, sinister. Okay, so that's, yeah, that's, that's the that's details. That's what they used to call us. The, right. <laughs> I want to start and, and sort of dive into some of the remarks you made about experience. I know the press release is out now, yeah. and you have definitely traveled the world of soccer, and now your next stop is Canada, whether that's Ghana, whether that's the various positions you've held with Soccer United Marketing, Major League Soccer. Just tell us a little bit more about those experiences and, and what excited you about coming to Canada to add another stamp to the passport. Yeah, I guess first and foremost is I've got, I've got the game in my DNA. Yeah, I grew up, I was really fortunate to grow up outside of New York City, and those of you guys who are old enough to remember the New York Cosmos, um, in the NASL, uh, the predecessor to MLS. Uh, I, I kind of, as a kid, hit the Cosmos during their heyday and was able to watch 
uh, Pelé and Franz Beckenbauer and Carlos Alberto and Stevie Hunt, all these incredible players that, that were playing in my backyard. And, and it wasn't just these world superstars, but the Cosmos did a great job of, of bringing along American players. So guys that grew up in my town of Westport, Connecticut, uh, Paul Hunter, Stevie Hunter, um, uh, uh, Shane Kennedy, guys I idolized growing up. I could see them playing professional soccer. And, and, and I, had, you know, I had these role models to look up to. And so it's in, it's in my DNA. It's in my family's DNA. Um, some of you might know my brother Mike, who's the head coach of Clemson University, a UEFA A licensed coach. I got a sister who was, you know, had to play on the boys' team when she was growing up because there wasn't girls' soccer. And so we've, we've kind of seen it from a lot of diff different sides. And then I uh, was able to, you know, because of a career-ending injury in college, I was able to parlay an education into business. And I wanted to stay involved with sports. And so I, I stumbled into the sports marketing business. And here I am now. One of the things I think everybody in the room can agree on, regardless of whether you play for York United or Forge, I know they're both here in the 905 Derby has behaved itself so far, but the passion, the popularity, the momentum for soccer in Canada right now is unprecedented. What do you think the CPL can do with that momentum and, and turn it into something positive to continue to grow this game? Yeah, I mean, it's continuing building one fan and one player at a time. And what, what really excited me uh, about this opportunity was the ecosystem that Scott and the board and everybody else has put together. Because we not only have you know, the national teams with Canada, you've got the, the club system with the, uh, the CPL, but then you have the whole League One um, infrastructure and ecosystem that's going to fuel this vertical pl player development. And not only do you get players, but you get administrators, you get referees, you get fans, and it's, uh, it's wonderful to see some of the players here supporting. I, I know we've got some of our League One uh, women here. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Uh, we have big things in store for you all as you, as you grow into your, your, your soccer careers. So uh, again, thanks for being here. So it's, it's that entire ecosystem. And you know, we, we need to be everywhere a ball gets kicked in Canada in the cities that, that, in the communities that we serve and, um, and, 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 and making people love, love the game and connecting them to our brands. This is obviously a big day, most importantly for the Canadian Premier League. That is not the only portion of your portfolio, though, as well, taking over CEO of the CSB. And, and we've spoken about some and, and the experiences there. How do you capitalize on that momentum? And, and what are some of perhaps the, the lessons you've learned? Because you've, you've I'm sure, had the trials and, and tribulations of, of a career in this game. How, how do you leverage the business side of this, too? Yeah, I mean, it, it, everything starts with the product and having the, as good a product as you can and a great development. Because you know, not only do you have the opportunity to um, create a better product for your fans, but then you can monetize that through player sales and things of that nature as they're ready to move up. But um, you know, there's, a, there's the soccer side of it, and there's the business side of it. And you don't have the soccer side without the business side. This is a professional sport. And so what Canada, Canadian soccer business is going to help us do is to fuel the things that we need to build. And and allow our partners to get value as our audience grows and as pe more and more people get, get interested. So, you know, Canada's, Canadian soccer business is really going to be the fuel for the Canadian Premier League, League One, and everything else we want to do. I'll leave you with this. I know you mentioned that one of the first things to do, I know you don't technically start until September 1st, but it's, it's relocating to Toronto. And I know you're also very excited about hitting the road and meeting with supporters groups. Ottawa is going to be very exciting. I know Forge is sending a bus of fans up to be at the game as well. Just talk to us a little bit about that and, and how much you're looking forward to meeting with those supporters in person. Yeah, I can't, I, I can't wait. I mean, uh, as, as you all know, I'm not Canadian, but I'm going to learn really, really fast. And I ad adapted in a, a country like Ghana and West Africa, and I can't wait out, wait to get to every every city, meet with supporters, meet with club management, meet with ownership, and really educate myself about what are the opportunities, what are the challenges that we have to over, overcome, and and continue building on the incredible foundation that everybody in this room has set set for me. And uh, and I take it as a great responsibility, and uh, I look forward to rolling up my sleeves. And as I said, I'm all in. Well, Commissioner, thank you so much for now your third interview with me. I hope this one was the least painful. And thank ladies you. and gentlemen, one more time for the second Commissioner in Canadian Premier League history. Welcome. You, it's great to have you. Thank you. So that will conclude the live portion of this.
presentation for the media in attendance, just so you know, there will be a scrum just after uh, we wrap up on stage here. Go see the Senior Director of Communications, Laura Armstrong, who should be waving, but she's getting important instructions. But Laura will help set up that scrum. After that, there will be refreshments and, and um, snacks to have, so make sure you Mingle, get to know everybody, plug your podcast, mix your, throw your highlight tape up there, whatever you gotta do, but just enjoy the fact that we can be together again and celebrate together on such a special day. So again, thank you to the commissioner, thank you to the players, the sponsors, the supporters, the coaches, everyone who made it in today. And with that, I'm gonna send it back to those two handsome gentlemen to wrap up the show. Thank you, Adam. Uh, Charlie, anything stand out to you there from, from the commissioner's first remarks to it's obviously a public audience? Yeah, it was it was you know a great event. I think the thing that stands out most to me is is Commissioner Newton said several times that he's all in on this position, right? Obviously, as we've said, he's coming in as an American, but he's fully embracing you know moving to Canada, kind of getting immersed in the soccer culture here, traveling to all of the cities across the country. He's you know excited to to live in Toronto and to be kind of hands on in the next stages of this league, and I think that's really really. Uh, an impressive thing and it's, it's fun to kind of hear how excited he is about this project. I, I think obviously we've been waiting for this for, for a little bit of time now obviously for, for, for various reasons since the, the previous commissioner announced that, that he was departing and, and maybe it just now kind of feels like you know we've got the end of the season coming up we've got the World Cup coming up obviously which is going to be massive a Women's World Cup next year kind of feels like we can really put our foot on the accelerator as a country now and move forwards. That's exactly it you know there's a lot of things in Canadian soccer and in the league that couldn't happen until this moment right obviously you need somebody to kind of lead us into the next generation into the next phase of the CPL's evolution and now that obviously Mark Noonan is in place and we have a commissioner we can start on a lot more and the game can only kind of grow from here because it was obviously hard without that voice at the table that kind of leader to steer the ship so to speak for sure lots of exciting things to come you, you can catch more of the commissioner on one soccer today this evening at 5 30. we'll also have him on the come on match of the week this weekend saturday night at let's go ottawa against forge after the cavalry against york game really good weekend of cpl football coming up once again thanks again for joining us wherever you joined us from today we really appreciate it hope you enjoyed the broadcast and, and we'll see you at the weekend for more cpl action